pretty late start in gymnastics actually. I didn't even get into a gym until I was 12 or 13 years old. And of course I wasn't like the best, so I had a lot of people tell me that I wasn't going to be able to compete or do much, but um, I still wanted to do gymnastics, so I started when I was 13. She's an example of both gymnastics and um, fan and an athlete who hung around for a long time, longer than an average athlete out there, uh, due to her spirit, uh, uh, devotion to the sport, and her passion for it. I think what's really neat about Amanda is um, just her drive and her passion for her love for the sport. and. Uh, I love that she's kind of like a big sister to the girls' team. Uh, she's built some amazing relationships with athletes in here. She is a very good teammate to the younger girls on her team. Uh, they look up to her, she encourages them, she helps them, she gives them advice. She is very talented and the big skills that she throws really inspires them. They love to watch her and they love to be like her. As one of Amanda's judges, and I've judged her many times, she is exceptional on floor. Her tumbling is very good, very high level. She presents herself really well, and you clearly has a natural ability to fly up in the air and land on her feet. because of the way I'm built. I'm short and stocky, and so that makes for good, powerful gymnasts that don't have long lines. But even though those are my best events, my highest scoring events, my favorite event is theme. And it's not a lot of people's favorite event, but it's my favorite event because it's the only event in gymnastics where it's like all mental. It's 20% physical, 80% mental. You are doing easy skills, back handsprings, back flips, leaps, but you're doing them in a different environment. So it becomes hard, but not physically, mentally. So it's a whole different process. 